Hello everyone, July 18th, 2024. Welcome back to my channel. I want to talk to you about mTOR. People are making comments on my channel that high protein diets are going to reduce my lifespan and I'm going to get cancer, etc. etc. Let's talk about this for a second. I'm going from memory here, but I will be placing studies to support everything I say plus the links in the description. Let's talk about mTOR for a second and why I eat. One of the reasons why I eat extremely high protein because as I mentioned in my other videos, high protein diet is a longevity diet, not a diet that reduces lifespan. Did you know mTOR is extremely beneficial for stem cells? Specifically, the hematopoietic stem cells, those are the cells, those are the stem cells found in your bone marrow, which differentiate into any type of blood cell, including white blood cell, red blood cell, even platelets. We know red blood cells are good for circulation, microcirculation, white blood cells is good for your immune system, and the plates are good for blood, blood clotting purposes and vascularity. I concentrate on vascularity very much. mTOR differentiates the hematopoietic stem cells. In other words, it could turn the cells into any blood cell from the bone marrow. Number two, proliferates. It creates new hematopoietic stem cells. That's what mTOR does. Three, it protects the hematopoietic stem cells that you already have. mTOR does this, but you're not being told this. Either you're not being told this or you're ignoring it, one or the other. In addition, mTOR also helps with mesenchymal stem cells. These are cells found not only in your bone marrow, they found throughout your body, especially the placenta, the umbilical cord. These are, these are the stem cells that are being shot into you when you go for stem cell therapy because they are able to differentiate into other stem cells in your body. In other words, these stem cells can make osteoblasts, bone cells. They could, they could make chondrocytes, which are the cells that make up your cartilage. They make up myocytes, the muscles, cell muscles, and amongst other cells that, other connective tissues like ligaments, tendons, and many other connective tissues in your body. That's what MSCs are. mTOR differentiates, helps differentiate these cells, helps proliferation, helps make more, and it protects the cells. mTOR does this. And the only way to increase mTOR, well, the, one of the best ways to increase mTOR is to a very high protein diet, specifically leucine. Not only do I eat 40 to 50 grams per meal, five meals a day, I take BCAAs on top of that with two grams of leucine in the BCAAs. I make sure I get my leucine. But then again, people say, well, but you, you're hyperactivating mTOR throughout the day. What does that mean? 10 hours, I don't eat. Okay, I sleep about seven, and one, one and a half hours before I go to sleep, I don't eat. I eat a very small meal, high protein meal. And then a couple of hours after I wake up, I don't eat. So it's about 10, 10 and a half hours, I don't eat. That's enough to bring mTOR back to base level. When you eat a high protein diet, it takes about 30 minutes to an hour for mTOR gets to, to get activated. And then it peaks around two hours, two and a half hours. And then it returns back to base around four to six hours. That's why I eat my meals between four and five hours. So it goes back and forth. Back to base, back up, back to base, back up. And then at the end of the day, it goes to base as I sleep. So I'm not hyperactivating it. I'm just, I'm doing it just right. Now, that's even if you're worried about that it causes cancer and diseases. And that's, that's another thing I want to talk about. Prove it. Prove to me that mTOR causes cancer, accelerates aging. Prove this. You can't prove this to me. What studies they did? They studied humans till the day they died? Number one. Number two, when somebody gets cancer, mTOR, they see that mTOR is activated. Okay, so what does that mean? That's, that's, that's like warped logic. Just because mTOR is activated during disease, it doesn't mean mTOR caused it. Okay? There's a lot of things that cause a disease. mTOR just happens to be activated when it's caused, when the disease exists. It doesn't mean mTOR by itself caused any disease. It doesn't mean mTOR by itself is, is going to accelerate aging. There's a lot of factors that accelerate aging. Not mTOR. Your lifestyle, what you eat, your genetics. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? 
You're telling me if I activate mTOR, I'm going to die earlier? So my genetic, it, it supersedes everything else? There is a lot of, there are a lot of factors involved in disease state and in aging. I am going to keep eating 40 to 50 grams of protein per meal for the rest of my life, including BCAAs, including, uh, including whey protein. Nothing's going to stop me. It's not causing disease. If I get a disease, it's not from. It's not going to be from the protein. In addition, when you get older, you need more protein. You need more protein for muscle protein synthesis. This is why you eat a low protein. And there's people in the comment section making these comments that you should eat a low protein diet. Go ahead, go ahead. You will 100%. Not not 50. Causal. Let me repeat it. Causal. Low protein diet will make you frail. Causal, sarcopenia, frailty, loss of motor units. Protein is, high protein diet is the ultimate longevity diet. The ultimate. If you're worried about mTOR, intermittent fast. I intermittent fast 10, 10, 10 hours, 11 hours a day. I don't need more than that. Autophagy, you want autophagy? Exercise. Exercise creates better autophagy than fasting. The bottom line is this. This is why I, I eat a high protein diet because of my age. And I'm not going to lose my muscle tissue. I'm not going to lose my mobility or motor units. As a matter of fact, I'm making it more youthful. My cartilage. Another thing I'm told helps with. Cartilage pain. Joint pain. This is why so many people, so many of you, suffer from knee pain. This is why you can't work out. This is why you have a hard time recuperating. This is why you have to rest three, four days to work out. I work out every single day. I wake up with no pains. And I'm not kidding you. I'm not kidding you. I'm not making this up. I have no joint pains anywhere. I can run every day. And I'm not bragging to you. It's because of my high protein diet and the activation of mTOR. It's differentiating the cells in my body. It's creating new stem cells. Yes. Yes. It is. And I will keep doing it. So you can comment all you want. I respect your comment, but I don't agree with it. Anyway, have a great day. Maybe the information helps you. Maybe you ignore it. Maybe you laugh at me. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I have a goal in mind, and I'm going to accomplish it. 80-year-old, I will move like a 40-year-old. And I'm not talking about just moving it, looking it, having the skin, the body, the skin. I am going to do the opposite of what everybody else is doing. Because if I do what everybody else is doing, I'm going to end up like everybody else, frail. Have a great day. See you again in my next video.